In this video, I'm going to talk about kinetic energy. That's the energy of motion. First, I want to say that this video is part of a playlist on quantum mechanics. And we're going to use some of the information in this video in later videos in this playlist. So you can click on this little thing over here, or you can go into the description. There's a link in the description for the playlist on quantum mechanics. Now, let's talk about kinetic energy. So in Newtonian mechanics, you may be familiar with this form. So I'm going to write it as E sub K. That's the kinetic energy or the energy of motion. That is 1 half M V squared. So M is the mass of the particle or the body that is moving. And V is the magnitude of the velocity. Velocity is a vector quantity, so we have to be careful when we're squaring it. What does this actually mean? In general, it means we're taking the dot product of the velocity vector with itself. If you take the dot product of a vector with itself, what you actually get is the magnitude squared. So you don't get the magnitude, you get the magnitude squared. Because what you're effectively doing is you're taking a vector which could be three-dimensional, vx, vy, vz, that's got three components, and you're dotting that with itself, vx, vy, vz. Right? So I'm representing them as two column vectors over here with three components. You can uh, push this down onto a two-dimensional plane or even just one-dimensional motion. But in general, in, in 3D space, you're going to have these two column vectors, which both represent the velocity vector. So each one of these guys is actually, whoop, each one of these guys is v. That's the velocity vector. That's supposed to show that this guy is the velocity vector. So if we dot this guy with itself, what are we going to get? Well, vx is going to multiply vx, so we'll get vx squared. And it's going to be the same for the other two components. We're going to get vy squared and v z squared. So these are the three spatial components, and they're going to be squared together. And by Pythagoras' theorem, we actually know that this is just equal to the magnitude of the vector, all squared. So if we just wanted the magnitude of the vector, we would take the square root of this. But we actually want the square. That's what appears over here. We want the square. So this v over here is just standing in for the magnitude of the velocity. So velocity is actually a very useful quantity in Newtonian mechanics. We prefer to deal with velocity. And even in Lagrangian mechanics, we prefer, pre, uh, prefer to deal with velocity. Because V is essentially x dot. Right? It's the time derivative of position, if x is a position variable. But here's the thing. In Hamiltonian mechanics, we prefer to deal with momentum, not velocity. Because position and momentum have a special relationship. And this special relationship in Hamiltonian mechanics between position and momentum gets carried over to quantum mechanics. So in quantum mechanics, we want to express the kinetic energy in terms of momentum, not velocity. So how are we going to do that? So let's have a look at momentum in classical mechanics, just linear momentum. We can represent that as P equals M. V. Now, in 3D space, we can label these guys as vector quantities, and mass is just a scalar. So momentum is just a scaled up version of velocity. But here's the thing. I'm going to ignore these vector signs. I'm just going to treat them as scalar values, because what we just want is the one-dimensional equation. So what we can do is we can divide both sides by mass, and that's going to give us V equals P over M. So the velocity is p over m. And this may be familiar to you if you've done Lagrangian mechanics or Hamiltonian mechanics. This kind of relationship appears very frequently. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this into this expression. And that's going to give us m over 2. That's just this factor at the front. And then we're going to have to square this. If we square this, because we have a v squared, we're going to get p squared over m squared. And you can see there's an m squared down here and an m up here. So we can cancel 
and that's going to give us p squared over 2m. And that's what we want, p squared over 2m. That's the expression that's used in Hamiltonian mechanics and the expression that we're going to use in quantum mechanics. So this expression over here is a lot more convenient to work with than this expression. Why is that the case? Because momentum and position have a special relationship. And that special relationship doesn't quite carry over to velocity. So velocity is useful in Newtonian and Lagrangian mechanics, but it's not as useful in Hamiltonian mechanics. And Hamiltonian mechanics, those kind of elegant relationships translate over into quantum mechanics. All of that quantum revolution uh, still preserves those relationships between position and momentum. And what we also want to think about is, what does this actually correspond to in the physical world? If you have a particle moving, and it's a free particle, it doesn't have a potential, this is going to be its energy. So the only energy a particle without a potential, uh, the only energy that a particle has when it's not in a potential, is kinetic energy. That's the energy of motion. So this over here, p squared over 2m, that's the energy of a, a free particle, right? Because kinetic energy, is, that's the only thing that it can have. It's not interacting with anything else. So if you know the momentum, then you know the kinetic energy. Have, have another look at this uh, expression over here. When velocity is in the expression for kinetic energy, mass appears in the numerator. But when momentum is here, it appears in the denominator. Why is that the case? It's because of this relationship here. V is P over M. So uh, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out the other videos in this playlist. You can have a look at the description. There's a link in the description for the quantum mechanics playlist. Or you can click on this little thing on the screen.